what Zoe Freaking Genius is. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to identify the vertex, focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry of a parabola. So we're basically just given a quadratic equation, and then we have to figure out all this stuff from just this equation. Okay, so all of these equations are transformed. They don't have a vertex at zero, zero. It's actually somewhere else. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to need to know two equations. Uh, so the first one is, well, actually both of these look very similar to an equation you're probably already familiar with, which is a quadratic equation in vertex form. So that's y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. All right, and then h and k over here represent your x and y coordinates of your vertex, right? That's why it's called vertex form. Okay, so these two up here are very similar. Well, y is almost exactly the same. The only difference between this one down here and this one up here is our a number right here, okay? So instead of just having a, so a is just uh, a coefficient, it's just some number, it can be positive, negative, big or small, it could be a fraction, it could be anything. Uh, in this case, it's just giving us kind of a more specific a, all right? So it's telling us that it's one over four p. And p uh, just stands for where the focus is, right? So we'll get a little bit more into that. Okay, but the rest is the same. So we have x minus h in parentheses squared plus k, where again, h and k are your x and y coordinates for your vertex. Okay, so if you can memorize at least just this equation, you'll be able to come up with this one because this one, when you have x is equal to something, is the exact same as this one, it's just flipped, okay? So for example, here we have y is equal on the outside and then x inside the parentheses. But here we have x is equal out here, so we have the y inside the parentheses. And then uh, here we have h and k, but here they're just flipped. We have k and h. Okay, so the y is equal to this one over here. This is completely normal. And then uh, the x is equal to everything is flipped. Okay, and since the uh, h and k are flipped also, then that means that the x coordinate is out here at this time, and the y coordinate is right there. Okay, and just in case you need a way to remember which one is the x and which one is the y, one way I like to remember, well, not like to, but just kind of just happens to be a thing, okay, is uh, maybe you've heard of KY jelly, okay, so KY are always paired together, okay, so it's not the type of jelly you're going to put on a PB&J, right, uh, but in any case, K always represents the Y coordinate, right, K always represents the Y coordinate, right, K always represents the Y coordinate, and then the other one, H, represents the other one, X. Now, the last thing I want to mention is which way these equations face, or parabolas face, right, so if you have Y is equal to uh, some equation, then the parabola is going to either open up like that or down like that. And the thing that determines this is if your number out here in the very front, okay, sometimes it'll be a fraction, sometimes, sometimes it'll just be a whole number, but whatever number this is, if it's positive, it opens up, and if it's negative, it opens down. Okay, and one way I like to remember uh, that y is opening up or down is that these kind of look like y's, right? That one looks like a normal y, and then this one kind of looks like an upside down y. But in either case, they kind of look like y's. Okay, and on the other hand, if you have an equation that starts with x is equal to all this, then your uh, parabola is going to either open left or right. And the way I remember this is because some people draw their x's like that. Okay, not me, because I'm normal, but some, some other people like to uh, draw their x's like that. So then I just remember, oh, okay, this kind of looks like an x. So that means the, the x, right, this one, opens up like that. Okay, and this number again tells us if it opens left or right. So if it's positive, if it's positive, it opens to the right. And if this is negative, negative over here, it opens to the left. And this literally just has to do with the graph, right? Like that, right? Here's our graph. So the positive numbers on the x-axis are here, uh, and the negative numbers are here, and on the y-axis, positive numbers are up, negative numbers, negative numbers are down. Okay, so if your parabola opens up towards the positive number in this direction, that means we have a positive number right here, right? And if it opens up towards the negative direction right here, that, that must mean we have a negative number right here. And it works the exact same way with this number up here for the y's, because if the parabola opens up towards the positive number, that means we must have a positive number right there. And if it opens down like that towards the negative numbers, that means that we must have a negative number over here. Okay, so now that we have our little intro out of the way, let's jump back into this first problem, 41. So let's find the vertex focus and uh, directrix and axis of symmetry of this one right here. Okay, so we have y is equal to 1 8th, x minus 3 squared plus 2. The first thing I notice right here is that we have y is equal to all this, right? So again, that means uh, we're going to have a parabola that opens up or down, right? Kind of looks like a y. And which way is it going to face? Well, we have a positive a number right here, right? So that means it's going to open up. So I already know just by looking at this that we're going to have 
we can graph it just to kind of keep track of it a little bit. Uh, we have a parabola that's going to face up like that, right? But we can also see that uh, we have a vertex at, remember for the normal one, for y is equal to something, uh, we have h and k, right? This one's our x and this one's our y. So this represents our x coordinate and this one is our y coordinate for our vertex, right? So for the x coordinate, you just want to take the opposite sign here. So since there's a minus three, that means the x coordinate is for the vertex is going to be at a positive three. So it's at a positive, and I'll just write it actually over here. So the vertex is at positive three, and then the y, it just stays the same, so it's a positive two, so that's a positive two. Okay, so the vertex is at three, two. So three, two is right there. So there's the vertex, and again, we know that it opens up like so. Okay, cool. So we found the vertex, now let's find the focus. So the focus is always lined up with the vertex along the axis of symmetry, all right? So for this parabola, the axis of symmetry would be right here, right? It would just runs straight through the vertex. And then the focus is always on the inside of the parabola, right? This is kind of like a big mouth, so it always looks like the parabola wants to eat the focus. So the focus is just a point somewhere along here on the inside. Now, to find that point, uh, we're going to have to use this part of our equation. So 1 over 4p, okay? Because again, p represents the distance from our vertex to the focus, all right? So we're going to say that, uh, let's write it over here, 1 over 4p. And then we're going to set it equal to whatever our number here in the very front is. So in this case, we have a 1 8th, so we're just going to set that equal to 1 8th, all right? So to solve for p over here, we can see that p has to be equal uh, to positive 2, right? So what does this mean? So this means that the focus is two spaces away, positive two spaces away from the vertex, all right? So this is our vertex right here right at, uh, let's just label it. So this is at three comma two. So the focus is two spaces away from the vertex, right along the axis of symmetry on the inside of the parabola. So it's gonna be right here at three comma four, right? This is y is equal to two. This is y is equal to four, right? So then the focus is at three comma four, all right? So there's the focus. Now where's the directrix, all right? So that's just that straight line. Remember that's on the outside of the parabola. So in this case, the directrix would be right here, okay? So right on the x-axis. Or we could say that this is y is equal to zero, right? Those mean the same thing. So how do I know that the directrix is right here? Well, there's two things. So this directrix is always the same distance away uh, from the vertex as the focus is, right? So since this distance right here is two spaces, that means from the vertex to the directrix also has to be two spaces, which it is, right? Because the directrix, like I said, is at y is equal to zero the vertex uh, is at y is equal to two, and then the focus is at, I was gonna write out the word four. No, the number four. Okay, and the other thing to keep in mind is that it always creates a 90 degree angle with the axis of symmetry. So this is the axis of symmetry. So you can see that we're creating that 90 degree angle right there. Okay, so again, the directrix is right here. Okay, and lastly, the axis of symmetry, uh, I already drew it right here, right? Just runs straight through the vertex right there. Uh, so this runs through the x-axis, so we know it's at x is equal to positive 3, right? So this is the axis of symmetry right there. Okay, let's skip to 43. So here we have x is equal to 1 16th y minus 3 squared plus 1. Okay, so here we have an x is equal to, right? So I already know that the parabola is going to open up to the left or to the right, right? And we know that it's going to open up uh, to the right like that because we have a positive number right here. Okay, and where's my vertex? Is, it, is this the x coordinate and is this the y coordinate? No, because remember, for uh, an x is equal to this whole crap right here, the h and k are flipped, right? So remember, keep the ky jelly together. So here we have a k on the inside, so that means this number represents our y coordinate, and we have an h on the outside, so that means this is the x coordinate, all right? So this number right here is actually our y coordinate, and this one out here is our x, okay? But the same rule still applies because for the y coordinate, you just wanna take the opposite sign, okay? So for this problem, the vertex is at uh, positive one, uh, positive three. Okay, so we can already uh, kind of graph this. So one three is right here. And our equation starts with x is equal to, we have a positive number right there. So again, we know that it opens up in this direction. Okay, cool, so there's the vertex. Now for the focus, remember this just lines up along the axis of symmetry for uh, the parabola. So in this case, the axis of symmetry 
It's going to be right here, right? Just run straight through the vertex of the parabola. Uh, there's the vertex right there. And we can label it one more time. So that's one comma three. Okay, so again, to find the focus, all we're going to do is take our fraction right here and set it equal to whatever number we have right here in front, which in this case is 1 16th, right? So we're going to say that 1 over 4p is equal to 1 16th. So it looks like here p has to be equal to positive 4. Okay, so that means that our focus is four spaces away, positive four spaces away from the vertex. Okay, so uh, we're going to have to draw some more lines here. Uh, that looks good. So Starting from the vertex, we're going to go over one, two, three, four spaces right here. So this is at five, three, right? So let's uh, label that. So the focus right here is at five, three. And uh, let's just write it over here to keep track of it. The focus is at five, three. All right, cool. So we found the focus. Now where's the directrix? Okay, well, if the focus is four spaces away from the vertex, that means the directrix is also four spaces away from the vertex, right? So we're going to go one, two, three, four, right here. So the directrix is right here at x is equal to negative three. Okay, so remember this always creates a 90 degree angle with the axis of symmetry, right? So that's why we drew it uh, vertically this time. Okay, so the directrix again is at x is equal to negative three. And lastly, the axis of symmetry. Uh, let's see, so this one hits the y axis at one, two, three, right? So the axis of symmetry is at y is equal to positive 3. All right, let's do this last one right here. So 45, x is equal to negative 3 times y plus 4 squared plus 2. So we have an x is equal to, right? So we know that's going to open up left or right. We have a negative number. So remember, it wants to open towards the negative numbers on the number lines. So it's going to open to the left in this case. Okay, and whenever we have an x is equal to, our vertex is flipped, right? So this is our y coordinate and this is our x coordinate. And so just taking the opposite of y, uh, our vertex, uh, let's write it right here, the vertex is at 2, negative 4, okay? And we can graph this one again, like so. Okay, so here's our graph, and 2, negative 4 is right there, and then we're going to open up in this direction over here. Okay, so here's the vertex, and so we know that the axis of symmetry, I'll just tack it on right now, uh, is right through the vertex right here at... Uh, y is equal to negative 4, right? Y is equal to negative 4. Okay, and now to find uh, the focus and directrix, again, we'll just take our fraction, so 1 over 4p, and we'll set that equal to our number right here, negative 3. Okay, so to solve for p over here, I'll multiply both sides by p, so on top there and here. Uh, so then here, those cancel out, so then we get that 1 fourth is equal to negative 3p, and then we'll divide this uh, side by negative 3 and this side by negative 3. Now whenever you have a fraction divided by a whole number you can actually combine the denominator and the whole number and just put them both in the denominator. So 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, right? So we're going to have 1 over negative 12 here. So 1 over negative 12 uh, and then over here those cancel out so we just get that that's equal to p. Okay so here's the vertex and then we're going to go back 1 12th of a space. So literally right next to it right there, right? So then, uh, write it up here. So then the focus is at, let's see, it doesn't go all the way to two, right? Because we have to go back a 12th. So two minus 1 12th is one and 11 twelfths, right? So we'll say that focus is at one and 11 twelfths. And then the, uh, so that's the X coordinate, right? And then the Y coordinate is still here at negative four, right? Negative four. So then the directrix would just be on the other side. So it'd be really close right here to the vertex. Okay, so then it would be a 12th in the other direction. So uh, if this is 2, and then we're adding a 12th, that'd be 2 and 1 12th, right? So then the directrix is at uh, x is equal to 2 and 1 12th. Okay, and then lastly, we still have our axis symmetry right here at y is equal to negative 4. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.